Ladies and gents, hello and welcome. My name, of course, is Zobra Potato, and this is Age of Civilizations 2. Um, at the end of the last episode, we just finished up uh, conquering... Uh, conquering all of Denmark, actually. That was quite a... Uh, that was quite a fast uh, conflict. And uh, we've still got a bunch of troops that are occupying the country. There is no uh, imminent plans to change that. Uh, we're just gonna we're just gonna keep them around for a little bit longer. We need to allocate some of our technology points. I'm gonna start popping these points all into growth because, as you may have uh, as you may have seen in the last episode, I sort of discovered that since we'd raised so many troops in London, it means that our population has gone way, 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 way down. Right. So now our largest population city is Edinburgh, Dublin. Edinburgh just slightly uh, over Dublin, but there we go. That is what it is. Uh, we got a couple of provinces that uh, that do have low stability, but that's okay. Mostly, actually, they're in Ireland. Uh, we did manage to address the stability issues uh, that we had in Dublin, but at the end of the day, I don't actually think that stability has that much of an impact. I'm not entirely sure, but at the same time, it doesn't particularly matter. Uh, so in terms of our next steps, I want to see if we can try and consolidate our our our, uh, our situation in uh, Denmark. That is what I'm very keen on doing. And then we're going to try and look for, I guess, another country that is perhaps small enough that uh, it's not going to take... What's going on here? Is there like shadow? Is that like a lake or something? Is that Lake Geneva? I don't know. Um, I, would, I would guess so. Anyway, we're going to try and look for a country that's small enough kind of like Denmark, kind of like, you know, Belgium, maybe even um, the Netherlands, you know, we want to choose a country that we are, that we're comfortable going to war with, uh, but at the same time, isn't going to take, you know, like 25 years, like if we were go to, if we were to go to war with France, it would take, uh, it would take quite a lot of time uh, in order to do that. Our financial position is quite, uh, quite comfortable at the moment. Uh, we're not overtaxing anyone, we're investing quite heavily in research. You know, I really want to, uh, I really want my economy to 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 to, to get into a, a really really good place. So we're going to try and invest uh, in a couple of buildings that can hopefully uh, that can hopefully help our cause. Um, what really can we do? Um, build a university. Could build could build some universities around farms. Um, we can get the next level of farm. I think that's probably a good shout. Um, fortress. Not really that bothered about a fortress. Um, speaking of stuff that I'm not really bothered about, Germany is improving uh, relations, or sorry, I'm improving relations with Germany. I'm allied with the Netherlands. Italy, Indonesia, and Germany are all friendly. Uh, Belgium is an enemy, and I don't really care about anyone else who is an enemy. And that's pretty much it. So our diplomatic situation I would describe as quite strong, actually. All things considered. Let's head to the next turn. Let's get all these troops moved around. Um... Why are these troops moving into the ocean here? I do not know. I'm going to let them move, because why not? Oh, now they're heading back to London. Oh, yes, I remember what we were going to do with these guys. We were going to head them back to London, and we were going, tr we were going to try disbanding them in London. And that might help us get some of our, uh, some of our growth back. Yeah, I'm just going to continue to pop, um, to pop stuff into, into population growth. Nothing super major in terms of... In terms of stuff coming out here, we're not at war with anyone. This is fine. Yeah, cool. Okay, um, so we got what uh, 9,899 9, population right now. It is going to grow. It grows by eight each turn. There we go. Um, let's see if we disband these guys. This is just, you know, this is a pure experiment. And the, the incredible thing is, is that... If we do actually disband these guys, well, first of all, we need to see if it'll go back to the pop if, if it'll go back into the population. Even if it doesn't, it's still worth it because we need to cut down on our troop costs anyway. Looks like it did. It didn't go up by a thousand. It went up by about a hundred. So we did sort of make an impact, but that's okay. Um, either way, that's that's boosted our uh, that's boosted our boosted our finances a little bit, which is quite nice. Uh, farm I. I think we need a little bit more money in order to get a farm up and running, but that's not a problem. Uh, we also need a slightly higher technology level, so doesn't look like we're going to be able to do that. That's okay. Uh, what about getting what about getting some more stuff in 
uh, I mean, it's spelt Edinburgh. I mean, it should be spelt Edinburgh, but uh, but it's not, so that's fine. Uh, Edinburgh. What do we what do we want to get? What do we want to get here? I think probably we want to try and get ourselves um, a workshop. Workshop is always a good shout. Uh, also, a library. Library is really good since we're wanting to to push forward our um, science agenda. I would say. Also, a farm. Let's get a farm as well. Farms always a great shout. Um, Germany, very, very friendly with us, which is very, very nice indeed. An insult from Italy. I thought Italy was kind of like my friend. Yeah, Italy is a friendly country. Why on earth would they want to... Would they want to, to go to war with me? Um, is it worth me allying with Germany? Well, I would love to ally with Germany, truthfully. However... However, they are currently at war with France. And I'm not entirely sure that that is going to be a successful endeavor. And how can I see these troop movements suddenly? Is it because they're friendly with me? Is that the only requirement to see troops? I suspect it might be. That's fine. All right, next turn. I'm in no rush to really go to war um, with anyone else. I feel that I'm quite comfortable just to sort of, you know, take a little bit of time to uh, to chill out and, uh, and refresh and refresh my population. Um, speaking of, actually, population in Copenhagen. What is the population like in Copenhagen? Copenhagen is 38,000. Okay, so there's there's a lot there. There's a lot, but there's still room to, to sort of grow that. Very, very cool. Um, yep, I'm going to keep these these troops around just over here. I mean, it, I don't think it really makes makes that much of a difference. What's the province growth rate over here? 122% because we, we've got 100% province growth rate and then the farm plus 20. So I guess the stability rate improve. So I guess the stability rate impacts the growth in a population the population growth i guess so anyway um yeah what is the stability like looking looking like over here our population is increasing in um in dublin i wish there was like a like a tech tree that we could invest in that would allow us to sort of integrate other populations because at the moment we're just having to like assimilate everyone and you know replace well replace everyone really which is um which is kind of annoying, actually, because you, you never know. Danish Danish people in Copenhagen might like being ruled over by um, by uh, by the UK. That's just that's just pure speculation. I don't know. Uh, okay, I'm quite content just to skip to skip forward a, a couple of turns. Okay, give us some some money in the pot. Invest. Yep. Diplomatic insult from Afghanistan. Fine. It's interesting. I don't think anyone has offered me an alliance yet. I don't think anyone has offered me a trade deal or, or anything along those lines. Population growth. Yep. Iran is friendly. What? Portugal's at war with me? Uh, okay. Didn't see that one coming. Well, that's very, very interesting. Uh, so he's got 4,000 troops there. I can recruit 3,600. That's a slight problem. Can I recruit more in Edinburgh? 3,600 is the maximum. Looks like I can only just manage that. Okay, well, we gotta we gotta evacuate all of the troops from. Gotta evacuate all of the troops from Denmark. And, yep, send them all here. I'm literally just gonna send. Um, Absolutely everyone, I think. No. Cancel that. Move to... Here. Yep. Move to... Here. Yep. I don't know why... I didn't even... I didn't even know that Portugal declared war on me. Wow. I mean, I'm actually kind of okay with it. Like, it's kind of lame, but like... They're gonna lose. Um, especially if he's invested, like, 4,000 troops worth to, to come and invade me. Am I at war with anyone else? No, it's just Portugal, I think. Just Portugal. So he's got one... Oh, no, he's occupying one province. Um, fine, I guess. That's cool. We will also raise a bunch of troops. I don't want to raise them in London, because I've, I've burned so many troops in London so far. Um... Let's raise them in Bristol. We'll raise them in Bristol. Yep. 
Okay, is he gonna spread out and be really annoying? Yeah, he is. Okay, this is um, this is actually fine for us. We're gonna be able to conquer him quite easily, I think. Yeah, he's gonna get absolutely destroyed. Okay, there we go. Next turn. Um, so we've got all those troops coming back. They're gonna come into London. That's fine. Uh, let's move these guys up here. I want to move a thousand troops over there, and then I'm gonna move a thousand troops again over here. That's fine. Um, can we call anyone into our war? Call in ally. Request help against Portugal. Yeah. Select civilization. Netherlands. Port Port what, what, do I need to, what do I need to click here? There we go. Sent. Okay, cool. Um, fingers crossed the Netherlands will actually come, come in with me. They've got quite a good opinion of me right now, so that's kind of nice. Um, hopefully, the Netherlands can take out uh, Portugal. Okay, you guys are moving up to Sunderland. That's fine. We are a little bit low on troop numbers, I must say. Province stability took an absolute tank there, I would just hasten to add. But I think that's okay. You're moving out here. Man, this is annoying. They're just they're just all over me. They're like a little dirty little plague. Well, we've got troops coming back in uh, back to London, but they're not coming they're not coming in fast enough. A call to arms. Netherlands have joined the war. Great, 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 great. Are they gonna dispatch troops to my land, or am, or uh, are they gonna uh, dispatch troops directly to directly to uh, directly to Portugal? I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. Okay. Hopefully, I attack first. Indeed, I do. He's not going to get London, which is great. That means there's not going to be an adverse war score impact. Six hundred troops there. How did I forget that? That's pretty stupid. But whatever. Poland is victorious. Is Poland at war with me now as well? Well, this isn't looking too, this isn't looking too good, to be honest. Okay, here come the Netherlands. Here come the Netherlands. This is good. Okay, so I am at war with Poland as well, apparently. I'm also at war with Somalia. Okay. <laughs> How? Uh, offered a peace to civilization. Um. Peace negotiations. Can we just, like, can we just, like, White peace. I don't suspect that that will work, but we'll see how it goes. Um, yeah, just another white peace with Somalia, please. That'd be great. Uh, don't think that, that, that it's going to work like that, but it is what it is. Still can't believe that Portugal, of all countries, um, declared war on us. Well, actually, I can, because I was thinking about declaring war on Portugal, so it's actually kind of understandable how they declare war on me. Um, either way, I think we might just be fine. Yeah. Perhaps should have moved those troops up, but that's not a big deal. He is he is thin on the ground. He's not reinforcing his troops at all. Looks like the proposal was rejected. Um, that's kind of annoying. We lost a lot of troops in that battle. We lost a lot of troops in that battle. It's fine. Let's move 1,500 troops up over there. Excuse me? Oh, they're in transit. That's fine. Um, anyone being sent down to Portugal in order to take them over? No. I could, I could go down there. I could send some of my own troops, but not really interested in doing that right now. He's attacking me. That's really, really annoying. Man, this is just, this is one of those games, right, where you always have to leave, like, a hundred troops in every province you conquer. Otherwise, they will just, like, steamroll over you. Uh, okay, we should recruit more troops in London. There we go. I know, I know I'm digging into a pool that I said I wasn't going to dig into. But it is what it is. I, I'm going to try and take back Liverpool. I'm going to move all of my troops, contrary to exactly what I just said. 13,000 troops the Netherlands has, by the way. And they're coming to they're coming to save my bacon, love it. Uh, actually, I do want to maintain some troops in Copenhagen, just in case. I'm gonna put them in Odense, just in case something happens. Okay, good. 
So that's where all of his troops are. He's attacking me with two troops in Oxford. That's fine, actually. That's, you know, in terms of in terms of how that how that operates, that's fine. He's gonna throw some troops into into me over there, that's fine. Portugal's victorious. Okay, so he's moved all of his troops out of that central area over there. So let's move in with 300 over here. Since this is just a, quite literally a pure numbers game, we should be totally fine. There we go. There we go. Okay, good. Troops have been moved up. Let's move troops over here. Uh, or do we want to move them up to the north? Actually, let's move them up to the north. We know that there's a big a big unit of about 500 troops just mooching around over there. Population growth, we're going to especially need it after, uh, after this conflict. Okay, good and good. I know he's got some troop numbers over here, but that's fine. I think we might just manage to survive. Yep, certainly looks that way. Very, very happy with that result. That's very, very good for us. Okay, so we still got guys mooching around over there, but that's fine. We're slowly but surely retaking the country. Okay, set those guys up. Excuse me? Uh, set those guys up to attack right there. Perfect. Set these guys to move in there. We're not making that much money, to be honest. Probably because we're investing so much in research, even though we are in the middle of a war. Is that the best idea? Truthfully, I've had better ideas, but um, at the end of the day, it's not too bad. Okay, I'm just going to keep my big uh, 800 stack there for a little bit. I want him to sort of throw some troops into me. I suspect he probably will. Uh, it looks like, it looks like, yeah, the German... The German army is going to invade, the German army, the, the Dutch army is going to invade in uh, Liverpool, that's fine. I still don't understand why I'm at war with Somalia. What did I ever do to Somalia? Okay. And it's just, this is why you have to leave troops behind. I keep saying it and then I'm just, I stupidly don't do it. Okay, he's going to throw troops into me. He's going to come down there, fine. Yeah, you literally just have to have, like, a, you know, you just need to always have, like, a hundred troops. A hundred troops left. Okay, sure. 70 troops left. I think that that's probably enough. Move you up there. 172 troops. Mixed with 277. We should be fine. Move down there. We'll move. Move half of our army. Leave half of it right there. Um, half of our army over there. Okay, he's getting, he's getting worn down. He's getting worn down quite quickly as well, actually. There we go. There we go. Okay. Whoa, okay. That was his big stack from the north, and the fact that it has now been defeated is a major, major positive. He's, Netherlands, my, my faithful ally. You know, I, I gave the Netherlands a lot of, a lot of bother. I gave them a lot of bother after they took all of my war spoils um, from from me in the in the Belgian war but truthfully they have been nothing but helpful in this instance okay here perfect let's do this shouldn't have moved all my troops in there they're probably gonna attack this province here fine okay we're holding the two provinces in the middle that's what we're gonna do in the future right if he invades south of the border or if he invades north of the border, it doesn't matter. We're just going to put in, you know, we're going to put in a blockade in the two provinces. Sort of on the Scottish border, I guess, really. Um, and we'll just blockade, we'll blockade that there. What is province stability looking like? Province stability is looking pretty darn good. Yeah, it's good pretty much everywhere. Okay. Um, are we invading Portugal by any chance? I don't think so. Peace negotiations, I mean, look, Somalia, war reparations. I can't even force them to do to do war reparations. I'll send the demands, but I don't think they're going to want to fight peace, truthfully, because, I mean, they never seem to want to fight peace. Right, move you guys in there, move you guys in there, perfect. I think that we should have enough. Yeah, we should be able to do that nice and easy, perfect. Uh, so, all that remains now is to deal with the 
scourge, really, that is the Portuguese homeland. That's pretty much it. That is pretty much it. Um, yeah, still no real desire to go to war with either Poland or Somalia, but, you know, we're, we're in this situation because we are. Proposal was rejected. They really don't want to white piece me. Fine, I guess I might actually have to conquer Somalia. Okay, we should probably start taking this war a little bit more seriously than we already have. Um, ideally, if we could raise some troops and go to and go to uh, and go to conquer Portugal, that would be great. Um, the Netherlands might do this for me, but unfortunately, the Netherlands are, you know, they have way more troops than I do, which means that they are going to get any of the spoils uh, of the battle. Which is somewhat of an annoyance. Fine. We'll move our troops up. We'll, you know, just go about finishing off any of the... Any of the little stragglers around. There we go. Uh, let's go to... Uh, let's go to... I mean, it doesn't particularly matter, does it? Actually, it does. Let's go to Paisley with the 177 troops or whatever. The 178 troops. And then we'll go to whatever province this is. Is that the Glasgow province? Okay. I, what province is this then? Paisley. How is Paisley a different... Okay, it doesn't matter. Um, fine. Ah, you see, this is why I wanted to have troops in... This is why I wanted to have troops in Copenhagen. Presents somewhat of a problem for us. Um, we can recruit, I do believe. We can't recruit that many, unfortunately. Can't recruit that many because we have a somewhat, somewhat of a financial deficit, I would say, uh, because we, we're just not saving enough money. Uh, let's save the money. I'm gonna move, I'm gonna move the troops back to here, and I'm gonna recruit a whole bunch more here. I'm gonna recruit as many as we possibly can in this region. Um, Two thousand nine hundred. I don't think that'll be enough, truthfully, but we'll have more money next turn. Somalia is invading. You're invading Oban. That is perfect. That is that's right next to the Dutch army, which is great. Okay. Any more people that we can recruit in uh, in this province? Yep, indeed we can. All right. I guess we're going to go to war with Poland with eight thousand troops that we've raised from, or four thousand troops, should I say, that we've raised from uh, that we've raised from Danish soil. Very very cool indeed. And just in time for us to get the next. Uh, the next level. I'm going to go for military upkeep since we are seemingly perpetually at war. Not through any choice of my own. I sort of said at the beginning of this episode that I wanted to hunker down. I wanted to hunker down and uh, and get this done. If this Dutch army could um, could advance and help me defeat these Somalian, Somalian troops, then that would be great. But unfortunately, it doesn't look like they're going to do that. Still no Dutch army to invade, uh, to invade Portugal. A little bit disappointed in that, but hey-ho. We will have to do it if uh, if they're not going to. They've got thirteen thousand troops just sitting at a sitting at a port in Amsterdam, ready to be shipped out, but they're not going to do it. And um, let's get these guys to move over there. Oh, actually, no, that's a bad idea. That is a that is a how do I cancel that? That is a bad idea. Can I, can I cancel that, please? Uh-oh. Move to... Okay. Okay, these guys are gonna... For the greater good, men, you can... We'll fight them on the beaches. We will fight them on the seas. Something along those lines. Anyway, looks like you guys are not gonna have a fantastic time. Uh, but anyway, ladies and gents, on that rather depressing note, we're going to end this episode. Thank you very, very much for watching. My name, of course, has been Obito Potato. This has been Age of Civilizations 2, and we'll see you next time. Bye.